Alright guys, sorry if I feel a little bit under the weather, I sound a little bit under the weather. So um, today I'm going to be doing some what to wear and some accessories and other tips for raids. First up is what to wear. Um, well, you know, being that it's a really hot rave, you might want to wear something a little breezy. So, a lot of my rave tops are modified t-shirts that I just uh, cut the back and uh, cut the sleeves off. And most of the time I cut the neckline off. And, you know, this one's just one from Harry Potter. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. So, I wanted to kind of, you know, show off. You can wear cute little bows and headbands and things to keep your hair out of your face while you're raving. Um, but don't overdo it. I've seen a couple people overdo it. Shorts are also a very good thing in raves. Um, I don't recommend wearing skinny jeans. You'll die. Um, cute little nerdy things like bras with the pokeball on it are very cute. Along with hot pants. I guess they're called hot pants. They're like Mine are just swimsuit trunk bottoms, whatever. Trip pants are a very, very, very good thing. Whoever made trip pants knew how to charm, you know, a, a goth girl. Um, also, tutus are a very cute thing for raves. I make my own tutus with tulle and ribbon and that on there. Tights and fishnets are very cute also. They go with any kind of tutu. Bando tops, very cute. The shoes, you need to know what shoes to wear and what shoes not to. Comfy tennis shoes will work, but clunky, big army boots will not. Please don't go into a rave thinking that clunky boots are good, because they're not. Alright, now on to accessories. Um, leg furries, I love leg furries, they're so cute, but sometimes they can be really hot, so yeah. And candy is a big to-go for raves. I myself am a candy girl and I like to collect candy from other ravers but make sure it's very stretchable and is made with the right kind of beads because some can irritate. Candy cuffs are also very cute. I love my candy cuffs. Um, the people I bought them from, I just thank you so much. Um, but yeah, um, most of the time candy kids trade with each other at raves. I have a few that are trades from OhioCon Rave 2014, but I like, uh, I like my candy as much as the next girl. My candy was supposed to glow in the dark. I don't know why some people do this. They wear bandanas and, ma and goggles to raves. That seems kind of hot to me, but it's whatever. Uh, next up is backpacks. I have a Pikachu and a Sonic. You can put all kinds of things in there, like water, because it gets, you know, you get dehydrated, some food, something to munch on, your candy that you want to trade, I guess, and even your Game Boy Color, <laughs> because, you know, you get bored and rave on. So it's just big enough to hold all your stuff. If dyeing your hair is an option, I also recommend very colored hair, um, like really bright colors. Um, mine currently is pink. It was, uh, it has been purple and blue and uh, red, um, but you can also put in uh, extensions or spray in color. Or things like that, um, but I do, do recommend bright, bright hair. Alright guys, so it's tip time. Uh, one of the first tips is to make sure you keep your drinks in your vision at all times. I cannot exaggerate this enough. I've had so many friends get roofied or drugged because of their drinks, uh, getting drugged so just be very very careful as far as your drinks go um make sure you drink lots of water either well i doubt they'll let it bring let you bring it with you but bring some with you if you have to or you know 
Uh, make sure you you're very safe as far as if you if you plan on drinking, make sure you have someone there to be a DD. Um, just take care of yourself, guys. Don't don't be careless. Just because it's a rave and you're with people that you can let yourself go around, and you know you can kind of just lose yourself in the music does not mean that everyone there is feels the same way that you do. There are some people that intentionally stake out on people. Um, also, um, make sure that you are aware of what's going on around you. I've had a couple of instances where guys decided to start to slam dance behind me, and they almost cracked my skull open. So just be very aware of your surroundings. Alright guys, it's tutorial time, so uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make like the cut-up t-shirt I was wearing earlier out of one of my old uh, Yellow Ranger shirts. I'm already halfway through the shirt, so what you're going to do is start at the neckline and just start cutting slits, and at first cut a really tiny slit, and then after that just kind of keep getting a little bit longer and cut a little bit more under uh, the last cut you just made. And um, once this uh, is all done with, once you cut to the very bottom, I'm going to give myself a second to get there, to cut all the way to the bottom. And then you're going to unfold your shirt in the half, and uh, you're going to take each uh, thing one by one and pull. But be careful not to pull too hard or else you could rip the, the strand off. You're just trying to make it to fold inward that way it gives it that you know kind of uh, not freshly cut look. It just looks kind of worn like you've worn it a lot and washed it a lot. Um, I just think this is a really cute idea and it kind of helps keep you know everything really ventilated uh, your whole body that way you're not overheated in the middle of a rave. This is also really cute for the summer you know whenever. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the neckline. We're not done. We got to cut the neckline and the sleeves off because homie don't play that. Whatever. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to pick a nice spot uh, kind of really close to the already sewn in neckline. And I'm just going to cut all that off, that, that way it looks more rough, edgy, and more raverish. So I'm just literally just going to cut off that, that already sewn in sleeve. I mean, yeah. Alright, so now that our top hole is cut out, you're just going to pull on it to curl it and give it that more rough edge look. And then now I'm going to pick a nice spot because I kind of want my sleeves to be a little, you know, small. So I have something in store for the sleeves in a minute. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the sleeves off and pull those as well to give it the same curled, um, finished look. And I'm going to cut the other one off. And I really have something special for you guys as far as this. This is the first time I've done something like this, but um, with the sleeves, so it, it's a big surprise. Alright, now that you're done with that, the part that is sewn together, the seam that is sewn together for the shirt, I'm literally just going to cut that off. I'm going to cut on one side and then on the other side and cut the entire thing off of there. I don't want it. It's gone. So I'm just going to kind of um, estimate where I want it and take some leftover fabric from my sleeves. And I'm going to cut uh, like a little bitty strip that I can, like a little ribbon out of my fabric so I can use to tie the just now cut sleeves together, if that makes sense. It will in a minute if it doesn't.
All right, I'm gonna stretch my fabric to make sure that, you know, I can get the best out of it. And now I'm gonna take my scissors and poke a hole through one uh, side of the sleeve, the, other, the one side of the shirt. And then I'm gonna poke the, the loop I just made, or I'm gonna poke the fabric little ribbon thing I just made and poke that through there. And then I'm gonna take my scissors, poke another hole, you know, and then I'm just going to tie both of them together in a double knot. That way, uh, you know, nothing happens to them. That way they stay. And I'm cutting off any excess fabric that just kind of looks like it shouldn't be there. And I'm basically going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Now, personally, I really didn't like the way mine kind of folded out on the side because of the logo, the little diamond things. So what I did was I just took another two strips of the leftover fabric and um, I pulled in the shirt where it wouldn't do that anymore, where it wouldn't poof out like that, and I just tied it with the uh, ties that I made. So just kind of, I think it looks really cool. Like, I've never done this with any of my shirts before, and I'm pretty happy with it. So here's the shirt, you know, overall looking at it now, and I'm pretty happy with it. So, um, thanks guys for watching, and if you want to see more tutorials from me, just give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and with the extra material you have from leftover fabric, you can also make your own little headbands, which is what I'm wearing right now, but it's from a different t-shirt. So, yeah. Thanks guys for watching the video, and hopefully I can post more stuff that raised. Bye guys!